Next, at number four, is something that could have changed communication forever. The Wardenclyffe Tower. Before his name was synonymous with electric cars, Nikola Tesla had a grand vision for wireless energy. He built a massive tower in Long Island, New York, intending to transmit electricity and information through the air, across the globe, for free. He believed everyone should have access to unlimited power. But his primary investor, J.P. Morgan, had other ideas. When Morgan realized he couldn't put a meter on wireless energy, he pulled his funding. The project collapsed, the tower was torn down, and Tesla's dream of a wirelessly powered world died with it. And finally, the number one band invention the world wasn't ready for is free energy itself. Nikola Tesla wasn't just working on wireless transmission. He believed he could tap into the radiant energy of the universe itself. His magnifying transmitter was designed not just to send power, but to draw it from the ionosphere as well. He envisioned a future where energy was not a commodity to be bought and sold, but a fundamental right, as free as the air we breathe. This concept was the ultimate threat to the entire economic structure of the early 20th century. His financial backers, industrialists, who made their fortunes from oil and copper wire, saw this not as a gift to humanity, but as the end of their empires. 